and so hi everyone deep seek has come back with a bang and they have released deep seek v3.2 and this time they have released two variants one is deep seek v3.2 special and deep seek v3.2 thinking and for a surprise as you can see on my screen the model is able to beat out even gemini 3.0 pro the latest one on certain benchmarks the model is looking crazingly good and it has been just open sourced for you the model is also available on hugging face as you can see and it now supports agentic ai also the model size remains 685 billion parameters and you can use the model for free as the weights are open sourced on hugging face not just that the model is also hosted on deepseek.com where you can talk to the model instantly here you can see that deepseek.com experience the new flagship model with free conversation with deepseek v3.2 deepseek v3.2 exp model release improving training and inference efficiency let's try out the model so this is the latest v3.2 if you ask it hey deepseek which model are you v3.1 or v3.2 so I tried this question, it is not able to answer that. It is saying that I am the latest DeepSeek model, but as you can see, it has started answering in Chinese. Oh my God. We need to ask it to answer in English. Please answer in English. The age old problem with Chinese models. Now, as it is mentioning, I am DeepSeek's latest model. I don't know which version I am. I think that's the best part. You can try out the model. Tell me about India. So as you can see the model is quite fast uh, i don't think there's much traffic on the platform usually which is there so you are now using deepseek v3.2 and you can also try out the model for free on deepseek.com the model given the benchmarks is looking crazingly good and it is even able to beat out paid models forget about the open source ones so as you can see you can try out the model on deepseek.com let's jump on to the details of the model now deep seek v3.2 bye bye gemini 3.0 oh, claude and gpt 5. what is deep seek v3.2 it is the latest model released by the deep seek team along with extended context capabilities built for complex tool driven workflows efficient sparse attention mechanism so it is not using your traditional attention mechanism but it is using deep seek sparse attention i would be explaining you that and supports up to 128k tokens these are the performance benchmarks i already showed you on the first screen so we are uh, skipping this as you can read at the bottom the context window is quite huge faster inferencing about 3.5 times faster memory reduction is 70 percent and tool accuracy is 95 percent which is great why does attention doesn't scale the traditional attention we are talking about because it has a complexity of n log n as you can see l square quadratically expensive as context grows n square so if n increases your complexity goes exponentially high so even talking about 1 lakh tokens is impossible not talking about what deepseek has done deepseek has come up with a solution called a sparse attention lightweight indexer scores relevant tokens so it is not using all the tokens it is first of all ranking the tokens which are relevant select top key tokens k can be equal to for example 2048 now this reduces the complexity from l square to l cross k where k is quite small compared to l and hence you reduce complexity and preserves context with saving compute also what is the training strategy from dense to sparse dense warm-up learn token importance first of all then sparse training happened train with uh, selected tokens two stage training approach prevents performance drop and kl based alignment maintains behavior Inference gain, long context, lower cost. Now, because of this sparse attention, it is able to support longer context. Memory footprint remains manageable. Compute scales linearly, not quadratically. And practical for real-world deployments now. Standard LM is L square, while DeepSeq V3.2 is L cross K. More than memory, built-in agent support is also there. Native support for reasoning plus tool use. Preserves reasoning across tool calls, perfect for multi-step workflows, and integrates thinking and doing. Behind the scenes, talking about advanced training, it has been using large-scale synthetic data 
uh, especially fine tuning plus distillation has happened. Reinforced learning for agentic behavior has been done and custom reward models for quality. What are the strengths and limitations of the new model? Handles huge context, efficient at inferencing. As you saw, it's quite fast. Excellent for reasoning plus tool use, specialist level performance. Talking about the limitations, lags in recent world knowledge, less optimal token efficiency and may trail in complex reasoning. Who should care? I think document assistant builders, agentic system developers, multi-step workflow creators and long context chatbot designers. What are the practical consideration? Engine focus. Treat it as reasoning and workflow engine, not a knowledge oracle. External augmentation may need external retrieval for certain recent facts. Hardware requirements. You need to check your hardware requirements and hybrid approach. Consider hybrid pipelines for specialized tasks. DeepSeq V3.2, a fun foundational step for agentic LLMs. Engineering first approach for long context, bridges text predictor and multi-step thinker. Enables practical scaling of LLM capabilities and solid step towards agentic AI systems. With this, it's a wrap. In this short video, I understood what is the new about DeepSeq V3.2 and how you can use it for free. I will try to converse it uh, on DeepSeq.com. Thank you so much.